and also from consumers for fuel prices to drop further is still on as prices on the world market continues to drop. Well, for some, demand, uh, they're subjecting to conditions confronted by oil marketing companies in the country, and that is what Duncan Amwa is saying. Well, the Institute of Energy Security is also demanding a 16% downward review in prices due to the drastic drop on the world market. The Institute for Energy Security is forecasting between 16 and 24 percent drop in fuel prices at the pumps in the first pricing window for April. This is due to the significant fall of over 33.36 percent in the price of Brent crude, coupled with a considerable drop in the prices of petrol and diesel on the international market. Executive Secretary of the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers, Dan Kanamoa, says it may be premature to ask for a specific margin of reduction since the oil marketing companies have to deal with the local situation. Unfortunately, we may have to be a bit more realistic with the numbers at this point. A lot of the oil marketing companies continue to complain of a dip in their sales volumes as a result of Corona as we speak. Ghana is in a partial lockdown. Uh, they've, they've lost almost 42% of their sales volumes. What that means is that whatever old stock they took, they wouldn't be able to account for it with their suppliers. He wants the oil marketing companies to be fair should they take a decision to reduce prices. Uh, you wouldn't want to overburden the oil marketing companies so as to collapse them. And so we would need to manage the two expectations how much reductions we are looking for and how much the market can sustain as we speak today we will be surprised if the market responds with anything about five percent because as it stands international market prices are not down to zero we haven't initiated any conversation around taxes to be redrawn or to be reduced and so taxes and levies and margins and markups, which consider about 67%, continue to remain as they are. So we are within the first pricing window of the month of April and we are waiting to see how the oil marketing companies will react to some of these demands and calls from consumers as well as stakeholders. 